Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at creating a project navigation report with hyperlinks to different areas in the project. So you can see on the screen here, I have a report called Project Navigation with some data on there. On the left hand side, I've got some links to various parts of the project. Let's click on this first one, Tracking Gantt. That will open up the Tracking Gantt view and I've also got the tracking Gantt table activated. Now on this Gantt chart I have a link to take me back to project nav navigation. Next one, resources and then the link back, S-curve analysis which is a report and then a link back and then a work progress overview, resource overview and then a link back. So it's just a navigation form or report, should I say, that gets you around various parts of your project. And you can also have this as the opening up view. You have to a little, a little tweak you need to make to make that to work. But what I want to do now is just recreate something similar to this. I'll call it project design. So it'll be a new report. So I'll go to reports and new just pick a blank one, so I'll call it Project Design. We'll get a blank one there. So what you need to do is use text boxes. So text boxes, I'll just do. And then you type in whatever you want as a label. Project Resources. And I'll do another one. Project tracking, and then another one. So that whatever you want, I'll just do three. And project reporting. So each of these needs to be linked to the various um, bits that you've used as a title, so resources and tracking. I'll do that in a second. But I want to put some information in on this bit. So I'll get myself a little chart. So there's a default chart, that'll do. Just position that wherever you want it. And the default table I'll do as well. So table, which is a project status. Just position that under there. I don't want the start and finish date, so I'll just remove each one of those, right click, remove, or you can take the tick off, and then you can resize this box and position it wherever you want. So that, that's all I want to do for that. Now the links, so if I highlight these, and then you just right click, and you've got the link option on the right mouse click, and then you can link to the re relevant bits. So this is resources, so I don't want, it's on reports at the moment place in this document. So I go up to resource sheet is what I want. So I want it to link to that. This one is tracking. So this needs to link to the tracking table. So link. So this is going to be views tracking, tracking gun, that one. And then this will just be to another report link. So I'll call this resources, resource overview. I'll go for that one. Okay, so now you just click those and it links straight to, in this case, the resource sheet. And I've got a link there from before. I don't want to go to that project navigation. I want to go back to this this other one, which I've forgotten already what I've called it, project design. So I need to edit this link. So right click, hyperlink, edit. So this needs to go to project design. Now you can't see project design in there because what you have to do for this to work, so you can do the links, is you need to Go to the view tab, other views, more views. You need to get into the organizer 
and you need to get that report so go to reports and then project design you need to push this into the global template so just copy it across copy it into there close that close that right click on there again hyperlink edit link so now you should be able to find that so we're on project project design there it is so it wasn't there before now it is click OK so that should link back to your project the same for tracking this has already got one there again it's the wrong one but now because I've already pushed that across into the global template I should have it project design okay check it click and then project reporting there's a link here that I've just drawn another text box on so I'll leave that one there I'll just draw another text box because this is a report and uh, call it project design and then highlight that right click link and then you're coming back to your project design report okay then you just click it and it takes you there so all of these work going there and they all work coming back so you've checked that now now if you want this to be your default view when you open project if I go to file options so at the moment it's on Gantt chart with timeline you will need to create a view and add it into this list here so I'm going to try and do that now it's not as straightforward as you might think because you can't click on view and save this as a view because it's a report so what you've got to do is create a view so if I go into the Gantt chart you've got to create a view with that report in it so if I split the screen put details on so in the bottom part I'll have the Gantt chart at the top I want the report report custom project design so now I need to pull this down a little bit you can see now where you might need to adjust this report because there's not much space I can maybe push that up out of the way over there like so and you can bring this back up and maybe you just want a summary because this is just the opening screen I've got that with a name on it you can have it um, on a laptop it's quite small but on a big screen you'll be able to see all of that I'll just clap that down for now and then we need to save this as a view so if I click into the top part and go view it doesn't have me as a save option there it's grayed out but if I click on the bottom part and go view you're basically tricking this save view I'll call it um, project start now this view is really just that part uh, as you'll see in a minute but so you need to go up to other views more views and into the organizer find the view called project start that one and copy it into this global template close that close that one so now if I go file options I can change this to project start there it is project start okay now if I close this file down yes and then go back to open software implementation that one it should open open up with that view which it does and you can adjust it and then you've got your link still you can go to the various places if I have added a 
a link to the to the reports up here. So if I go to project design, it'll bring me back to there. Tracking takes me to the tracking Gantt and takes me to to that. Okay, so that's just basically creating a report. If I just go back to the initial one, project navigation. So this report is basically a navigation report to take you to the main areas of project or the main areas that you use in project. So you can add as many of these links as you need just to make it more user friendly for everybody, especially people that are not familiar with project. But that's all I want to talk about in this session. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.